So today I'm going to reveal some more items that I've been purchasing for the RX-7 FD. Now if you watched my first What's in the Box video, I had a box full of anodized purple bits, which was mainly for the engine bay, apart from the heater dials for the interior. Now I'm actually doing some changes for the FD interior, so if you're interested, check out the part one video I've posted of what I am changing, and part two is in the making at the moment. Now the items I actually have behind me on the table, two of those items is for the part two video of the interior, so I've not even looked at these yet myself, I've just kind of put them in my unit the other day and I just need to check them out myself, so I'll be revealing this with you guys as well. And um, one of the larger items which I'll go over first is a straight through mid pipe, so I can't fit that at the moment until I get an Apex ECU or similar because that needs mapping if you fit that to the car. Uh, it is coming to the winter time now as well, so I'm going to start building up some servicing parts. I've already purchased one item because I got a good deal on them, so I'll show you that as well. So I'll flip the camera around now and I'll go over exactly what I've purchased. Alright, so we'll start with this largest item here. So this is a 3 inch straight through mid height for the RX-7. Now, my car sounds a little quiet, so I want it a bit louder. Probably just a lot of packaging. So yeah, I thought I'd order myself a straight through mid pipe. Now I can't fit this yet because I'm still saving up for a PEX ECU. So um, I can't fit that yet unfortunately. Okay, so over here, if you watched the first video, you would have remembered that I bought these heater dials for the interior. So this is what I'll be fitting in the part two version of the uh, in interior changes. Now, what I was waiting for was the two silver badges and 25 mil for these two, which are in here now. So these have turned up yesterday, luckily. So you can see there, brushed aluminium effect like the others, um, black Athene logo, and then the black writing. So these were custom made. I just want things different from everyone else. Moving on over here, so I've not even opened these yet, but this is one of the items from Concept7. If you watch my part one video of the interior changes that I was planning on doing. So this goes on top of the Speedo cluster, but has two 52mm gauges moulded into the dome. So I'll quickly show you guys what this looks like. So it should be in a gel coat black, I think. So I've not even opened this yet. I've just kind of put it in my unit, ready for this video. I uh, just need to grab a pair of scissors quick. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So yeah, I think this is in a gel coat black, but this will be getting resprayed in a PZ black. So it's the same colour as the outside of the car. If you're interested in seeing the FD interior changes, check my other videos out, because that's something I'm doing at the moment. So yeah, this is the first item. So yeah, all your cluster, uh, Speedo cluster sits here. And then I've got these two extra gauge pods moulded in to this dome, this top piece. So that should look pretty cool when it's finished. I'm gonna have to save up and get some gauges. So that's going to be the next thing in the future to do. I've not 100% decided yet which ones I'm going for, but um, I'll sort that out. So the second item here is the triple gauge pod for the interior. So again, if you've not seen the other video, you, may, you might have to check that out. So this here normally sits where the speaker cage goes on top of the dash. So you pop that out and then this replaces that and secures this gauge pod in. So these are all 52 mil holes. Again, I haven't got any of the gauges yet, so that's something in the future I'll be saving up for, probably in the winter time to be honest. It'd be nice to get that all done and wired in before next year. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty nice as well. It's all in a gel coat black, but as I say, it's all being resprayed PZ Black from my good friend Jordan, which does spray painting for a living. So that's those two. And then the last item is 
this here. These are just some drilled and grooved brake discs for the front because I got these for a really good price to be honest. Um, I, I will be getting the rears but uh, I normally do my servicing through the winter time once all the car events are over. Um, I like to start building up the servicing parts even if it doesn't need doing I just do it anyway. This is one of the first items I'll do. I'll obviously get some oil filter. Um, I don't need to do the air filters because they're brand new on my car. But yeah, as you can see, these are just some drilled and grooved brake discs for the front. So it'd be nice to know that they're changed because the ones I've got, there's nothing really wrong with them, but it'd be nice if they were changed to be honest. So I thought, why not? As they were for a good price. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video on revealing some new items. As I say, these two here, more than anything, I'm doing some video in at the moment to do interior changes. So I'll be ripping out all the plastics next in the interior, getting all that sprayed in a PZ black, so it's the same gloss black as the outside of the car. So it should look pretty nice against the red and the other carbon fiber touches that I've got in there. And then those Affini badges over there, I just need to put the new badges on the heater dials and then those will be fitted once the spraying's done. So keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that if you're interested in seeing what the end result will look like. Keep an eye out for the episode 3 video of this because there's always going to be parcels coming in for the RX-7, especially now the winter time's coming, as I say. So take it easy all and I will see you in the next one.